Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's Melisandra here. I applied an Apple card a while ago and ordered the physical card last week. The entire package looks pretty to me. And the actual touch is thicker than any of my other cards. It is made entirely from titanium, which is later etched with my name. Well, I love it at first sight. The announcement that Apple was launching a new Apple-branded credit card in 2019 may have given fans hope that it would revolutionize how we pay. However, the product's features make it more like a red delicious than a credit card. Despite the crowded cashback card market, consumers may find room in their digital wallets for another one that will earn rewards, especially on expensive Apple products. The most important question to ask whenever Apple announces a new product is Are those the right products for you? In today's video, we break down all you need to know about the Apple Card to find out the answers for you. Those who can use Apple Pay for most of their purchases will benefit from the Apple Credit Card's rewards program. In partnership with the Goldman Sachs, and issued on the MasterCard network. The no annual fee card offers enhanced rewards on Apple purchases and purchases made through Apple Pay. Applying for an Apple card is quick and easy, and you can start using it right away with Apple Pay after approval. Whether you shop at an Apple Store, Apple.com, or the App Store, or iTunes, you'll get 3% cash back. Using Apple Pay will give you 2% cash back every time you make a purchase. There are no limits to what can be done in every category. The Apple Card gives you 1% back as daily cash on all other purchases. Daily cash is earned for everyday purchases you make. There are no fees associated with Apple Card. There are no annual fees, cash advance fees, over the limit fees, foreign transaction fees or late fees, neither of them. The interest rate is a variable APR of 12.49% to 23.49%. You will need an AppCash account to access all of your cash rewards, called Daily Cash on the Apple Card. Apple Cash will be credited with all earnings from the Apple Card each day. At any time, you can use a balance to Purchase with Apple Pay, send money via text message to a family member or friend who has Apple Cash, or pay the bill with Apple Cash, or deposit it in your checking account. In the event you choose not to set up Apple Cash, the daily rewards you earn will be accumulated and applied only to the balance on your card. But even to the loyal fans, still need to be aware that Apple Pay isn't accepted everywhere. Purchases with the physical card only earn 1% cash back regardless of how pretty it is, and there is no welcome bonus for this card. To better understand if Apple Card is an option for you, let's take a look at how the card tacks up. A comparison of the Apple Card and the CD Double Cash Card. CD Double Cash Card is a great option for consumers looking for a cash back card with high rewards and ease of use. A 2% cash back rate is offered by this credit card. 1% on all eligible purchases and an additional 1% after you pay your credit card bill. For those with lingering debt from credit cards, the card offers an attractive 0% intro APR, 16.24-26.24% variable thereafter. If you use your Apple Card, you will earn an additional 1% on most purchases, even if the vast majority do not fall into those categories. To find which card is right for you, run the numbers based on your spending habits. The Apple Card versus the Chase Freedom Flex With the Chase Freedom Flex card, you can earn rewards without being loyal to Apple. Besides earning 5% cash back in rotating categories, the card also earns 5% travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% restaurant and drugstore rewards, and 1% other rewards. In addition to Amazon, Target, and Walmart, 
Chase offers quarterly bonuses, so if you're considering a new Apple device, the Flex is a better choice. Additionally, the Freedom Flex offers a generous welcome bonus, $200 after $500 in purchases within three months of account opening. For many consumers, the Freedom Flex is a more rewarding option than the Apple Card. Apple Card versus Blue Cash Preferred Card from American Express. It may be a better fit for you if you spend most of your budget at US supermarkets, gas stations, and transit stations with the Blue Cash Preferred Card from American Express. There is an annual fee of $95 for this service. With the card, you will receive 6% cash back at US supermarkets, 6% cash back on selected US streaming subscriptions, 3% cash back at gas stations, and 1% cash back on other eligible purchases. Cash back is received in the form of reward dollars that can be redeemed as a statement credit. In conclusion, here are a few reasons you might want an Apple card. 1. Your veins are filled with Apple juice. Siri is like a spirit guide for you. The Apple Store supplies all of your devices at home, in your car, and in your office. In addition to getting 3% cash back on Apple purchases, you are already used to waving your phone over the post device at checkout for all other purchases. Is as a current rewards categories for Apple Card. 2. Instant gratification is what you crave. One app on your iPhone lets you apply for the card in just minutes, and the card is available for use as soon as it's approved. You won't have to wait for a card to arrive in the mail for 7 to 10 business days. Cashback rewards can also be earned and redeemed daily, and they can be used almost immediately. Your rewards cycle does not end when your billing cycle closes, as happens with many other reward cards. 3. Apple Pay is widely accepted in the cities where you live or travel. According to Apple's announcement of the Apple Card, 70% of US Retailers accept Apple Pay. Some major merchants, including Target, McDonald's, CVS, and Best Buy, accept it. Moreover, the Apple Card does not charge foreign transaction fees, and MasterCard is widely accepted worldwide. So in general, it will make a good travel companion. For there are times when you forget things. If you miss a payment, Apple won't charge you a penalty rate or a late fee. However, you should know that later missed payments will result in additional interest accruing toward the account balance. Regardless, your credit score can still be negatively affected by late payments. 5. Sharing your account with family members is something you'd like to do. Authorized users weren't allowed to use the Apple Card at first. Apple Card family, introduced in April 2021, gives you the ability to share one account with five others. In addition to the owner, you can designate authorized users who are equally responsible for paying bills. All three major credit bureaus receive information about account activity for co-owners and participants who opt in. As a member of an Apple Card family group, you earn daily cash with each purchase and you keep the money you earn. Rewards earned by authorized users do not go to the primary car holder, as is the case with many other arrangements. There are few cards on the market that offer 2% cash back on most purchases. You can, however, only get elevated rates if you use Apple Pay. Physical cards earn just 1% back on purchases which is in competitive where industry standards are at least 1.5% rewards. It may be skipped if 1. It's Android that are using. In order to use Apple Pay, you must have an iPhone model that supports it. Consider the CD Double Cash Card 18-month BT offer if you're committed to another mobile wallet, such as Samsung Pay or Google Pay. All purchases earn 2% cash back, 1% when you buy and 1% when you pay, and you can add it to your digital wallet. 2. Travel rewards are important to you. You. Would you like to get a free flight when you sign up for a big sign-up bonus? There is no such feature on the Apple Card. It is paceable, however, with a travel rewards card. The Bank of America Travel Rewards Credit Card, for instance, has no annual fee and earns 1.5 points per dollar on all purchases. Travel and dining are two popular spending categories that earn bonus rewards with the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card if you're willing to pay the $95 annual fee. You also get a great sign-up bonus. Getting rewards through Chase is more valuable, and you can transfer points to a number of airline and hotel programs. 3. The majority of your shopping is done at stores that don't accept Apple Pay. Apple Pay is not accepted by some major retailers, including Walmart. While Costco accepts Visa cards, the Apple Card runs on the MasterCard payment network. Additionally, you may have difficulty paying with Apple Pay at smaller merchants such as food trucks, mom-and-pop shops, 
Bodegas and others for specific everyday categories dominate your spending. Or you may buy a MacBook Pro once every few years. Other cashback cards may make more sense if your everyday spending is focused primarily on a particular area. Perhaps you spend most of your money on groceries and gas because you have a large family. In addition to 6% cashback at supermarkets in the United States, American Express Blue Cash Preferred Card offers 6% cash back on some extreme subscriptions, 3% cash back at gas stations, 3% cash back on transportation, and 1% cash back on all other purchases while terms apply. Maybe you hit the town often, with the Capital One Saver One Cash Rewards Credit Card, you earn 3% cash back on dining, groceries and entertainment, including streaming services. 5. Buying something outside of Apple's range of products would be a big purchase for you. In addition to interest-free financing options for Apple branded devices and accessories, there is no introductory APR offer for other purchases. It is not an ideal card if you need to carry a balance since the APR ranges from up to 23.49% as of August 2022. It would be better to choose a card with a lengthy 0% intro APR offer on all purchases. If you're a Royal Apple fan and want a card that seamlessly integrates with your wallet app, the Apple Card is the ideal choice. Check out alternative rewards credit cards or balance transfer cards if you don't have an iPhone or are looking for a card with a 0% APR introductory period. You may also run into difficulties using Apple Pay everywhere, even though it is accepted by 70% of merchants. Thus, it may be a good idea to carry a physical card as well. I actually ordered my physical cards for that reason. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel for more financial videos, and I will see you next time.